Hello, Paul Hamilton here. Let's have a look at how we can get this kind of animated leaf in Adobe Aero. So I'm just gonna create a, basically a blank slide and bring in a leaf. So if you're unfamiliar with Keynote, obviously we've got lots of little shapes that we can build in. I might just turn that on the side a little bit like that. And then instead of just coloring it a gradient or a color, we might just fill it with a photo. So we're just gonna to go to Style, Fill. We'll go to Image and we'll see if we've got something in there that we could use. Uh, I think we've got an image there, nice little kind of texture uh, going over there. Now we want to save that as a PNG uh, with a transparent background. So what we're going to do is on a split screen, we're going to drag our photos open. Uh, you can see here my photos. Now, if it doesn't come down the bottom here, make sure that you've opened obviously photos recently and I'm going to drag that in. So wait till it bobbles a bit and then drag it in. And that's going to save that as an image file ready for um, Adobe Aero. So let's jump into Aero and see what we can do here. So we'll open up Aero. Um, we've got lots of different things here, options. Let's just create new, bottom left hand corner. Let's find our surface. Hopefully this is well lit and should come up reasonably quickly. Fantastic. And then down bottom left hand corner, we're gonna go to plus. And let's just bring in a tree, uh, just to give it a little bit of context. I love this dead tree. Uh, we're going to make that a little bit bigger. We'll move that to the back a little bit, and we'll place that there. That's looking good. Okay, so let's bring in our leaf. So we're going to go to the camera roll, and we're going to look for that leaf. And it might take a little while. There it is there. We might make that a little bit smaller, and we'll place it. And we can click it. And with three fingers, we can raise it. Now, this is not going to be highly accurate here, guys, uh, but you can see that that's sitting beautifully there. I could actually position it a little bit better if I wanted to. Let's do that. Let's just move that up a little bit. That's looking pretty good up there. And let's um, apply a new animation with a create path and see if we can get it kind of floating down reasonably um, accurately without worrying too much about it. So I'm going to click it once and we'll go down the bottom and go to behaviors. We'll go to trigger. Let's make it on a touch, on a tap. Uh, our action's gonna be an animate. And if I scroll down a little bit, it says there create new animation. So I'm gonna create new. I don't want it fixed to the ground, so I'm gonna turn that off. And it says hold the leaf for three seconds. So I'm gonna hold it for three. One, two, three. And then I'm just going to kind of give it a bit of a a bit of us glide down as we go. Now it's 2D, so you're gonna, it's gonna be a little bit, or oh, it might, might go up again, and then down to the ground. And then we can watch it back, and we can kind of see that kind of trail there as it goes down. Um, it's 2D, so there's gonna be images, but we'll be able to view it from different angles, which is cool. We're gonna save that, and then we're gonna preview it. A little ticky box, we'll preview it, We've got our little animation here and hopefully when I tap it now, I've got a nice little kind of different, beautiful kind of leafy type animation that goes down. And I love this because the students are creating the content and the graphics that works well with the digital assets there. It's looking really great. I know it's 2D, but it's kind of got that nice feel to it. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Paul Hamilton here signing off.